What's going on, cryptocurrency universe? It's the Bitcoin miner here, guys. I hope everybody's doing well today. If you've been watching my videos, you know I have been pied and I am building a crazy rig. Uh, yeah, the crazy rig. <laughs> here it is. It's coming along, guys. I'm getting it done. I'm actually squeezing in all of these wires. I can't believe it. I'm very, very worried about the last row. Especially this one over here. I left them grouped and zip-tied and bundled at the bottom right there. I'm really worried it's going to get too tight in that corner. Um, but uh, I was going to build this thing out slowly. I you know, was going to only do like 40 of them and kind of slowly add to it. And then I realized that that's really not going to be all that feasible. It's going to be extremely difficult to do something like that. So it's kind of all or nothing or, you know, it, it, you know, just build separate boxes and leave it be. So I did it. I pulled the trigger. I went ahead and ordered all the pies. I had to, I ordered them in different groups. They've been showing up in batches. Um, they've been taking time to get here ordering them from Amazon and I don't know It's a I guess it's a little slow They're probably shipping them in from China and then having to go to the distribution and then send them out um, But uh, yeah, they're here and I'm only missing just a handful of them at this point I think I'm missing about five of them and hopefully those will be here in the next few days But I have plenty of work to do as you guys can tell there is a hundred and twenty five for 125 pies including the mother which will be plugged in right over here in the middle i did not do this last row because of the fan height i don't believe oops, shadow sorry guys i don't believe that uh, they're gonna get any cooling whatsoever so we skipped that row right there um a few test subjects in there as you can tell there's aluminum heat sink so lots of videos coming up We've gone through every single one of them, number them. Uh, they're all set up, ready to mine as soon as they're plugged in. So it, this has really been a process. Like these over here, uh, this is stage one, get the heat sinks uh, attached. Uh, stage two, during this process, we're also making the uh, drives, going to put all the Linux on there. Uh, and then stage, uh, the next stage is going to be putting it into the drive and then writing it. Um, numbering them and you know basically just going through the whole process but uh yeah this is where we're at wish me luck guys in that last row this has been uh yeah i, I know it seems like really quick to you guys but it's been uh, almost 10 days now since i've started the last video uh juggling the kids and trying to get all the wire bundles and everything together it's it, this has been a, a a lot uh to put together so i'm really excited to finally get it going uh, all right guys stay tuned i appreciate you staying in there with me and hanging out and uh what do you guys think of this crazy build i can't wait to see it up and running it should be something like 880 mega hash there is six stacks of seven of uh three rows of 21 so there are six stacks of 21 in here there's it's uh if i can get them all in it's gonna be crazy all right guys remember like and subscribe talk to you soon. hi i'm mike tatongi a founder and lead developer for the Verus project a community-owned public infrastructure technology that we call the internet of value supported by a worldwide growing community of individuals corporations and other organizations Imagine a worldwide network, as scalable and accessible as today's internet, run collectively by ordinary people, capable of securely processing transactions in all major currencies, Bitcoin, Ethereum, dollars, euros, even custom currencies, or auto-rebalancing multi-currency baskets, defined by any organization or individual. This network is made of multiple independent networks, that ensure all funds of all currencies are accounted for flawlessly. Anyone can participate in this network by helping it run, and with it, any community, country, company, or cause 
can easily launch new fractal subnetworks, completely independent from, yet fully connected and interoperable with all other parts. With each new subnetwork, the network of networks does not congest. Instead, it gains new scale and power. Imagine that all of this power could be accessed and used by people, organizations, businesses, and governments without any complex programming. Imagine a multi-blockchain network with a real multi-currency protocol that verifies all transactions in all currencies as securely as Bitcoin or Ethereum verify transactions that transfer BTC or ETH. The good news is that now you can do more than just imagine. The network I've described is fully functional on the Veris testnet and being prepared by contributors across the community for its imminent mainnet upgrade. Any project needing an easy to use launch platform for currencies or fundraising platform, voting network, automated accounting system, self-sovereign identities, or a governance model can get started without programming. Solutions that used to take weeks or longer to build with programmers can now be completed by domain experts better, faster, and more securely than before. With Veris's technology, challenges of today can be naturally solved by scaling out as needed. In addition to this new solution, disruptive even among decentralized systems, the open community-driven model means Veris is the first and only credibly neutral, rent-free, decentralized financial network that is capable of hosting multiple, independent, yet connected real-world economies with thousands of connected blockchains, millions of fungible currencies, and billions of users.